Hey guys, what's going on today? Got it a product you guys have been waiting for for a while now and you guys have asked me for it. So it's the Turtle Wax Ice Premium Care Paste Wax. We're gonna be trying it here on my 1991 Honda Prelude. It's my old girl, uh, it's been sitting out in the sun for probably like the last six months. I finally got it fixed about a couple weeks ago. Head gasket was blowing, some other stuff has had some issues to it, so I just kinda let it sit there. But as you can see, the car is filthy, okay? We're gonna be starting off with a very bad car. I kinda like doing these kind of videos because of that that we can see a full transformation, okay? Like ugly duckling kind of thing in story as a kid. You can see how bad it really is. And then when we apply the wax, when we finally get done with claying it, washing it and everything, we'll see uh, how it looks in the end. So you can see how dirty, and the car is just, you know, it's been filthy. I've washed it maybe, I don't know, one time in five months. I mean, you see the top? All this junk from all these palm trees and stuff falling on it. Now, fortunately, I'm out here early in the morning, so um, I'm gonna try and beat all the rain that I know is, in fact, coming later on. So you can see the car is, overall, it's very, very filthy. You can see you got even bugs sitting on the back end of it. So there's no hiding it. There's no denying it. This car is going to, it needs it. It hasn't had a wax job since, oh, I want to say November of last year. And the wax did really good, but, you know, it's time for a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it on there now, and we're going to see what we got. So what we're going to be doing today is testing it out. From uh, I'll show you step by step. I'll show you the wash. I'm going to use Turtle Wax Ice Premium Care Wash. Then I'm going to use the clay bar on it and then we'll come back and hit it with the wax and I'll pull it, what I'm going to do is I'll pull it in the garage and I'll back the Z out so I have more room and then we'll have some more room to get in there and show you because I'll keep out of the heat so here we go, stand by, I hope you're ready for this and um, I will get this done stay tuned alright guys, we got one thing we need to try here check this out, we're going to see a water test, a water being test car has not been cleaned, you can see it's filthy alright so we're going to come by and just water it down, okay? <laughs> there is no water beating it on this at all. It is terrible, okay? So there's no denying it. There's nothing on this car. Look at this. Alright, so we're gonna, we should see a huge, huge transformation, okay? So there we go. Look at that. Yeah, there, there's nothing on this car. All right, guys, so I'm going to do it and start washing it. I'm going to use the Turtle Wax their uh, car wash, and then uh, we'll go from there, and then we'll start cleaning it and stuff. Now, I just realized the battery's starting to die on this camera, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in while I'm washing it. So I might not show you the wash uh, step, but then we'll show you a little bit of the cleaning step and then, of course, the waxing for sure. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll go ahead and start knocking that out. All right, guys, here we go. Here's going to be the next stage. You can see the car is all cleaned up. It's all shiny. i got some stuff on there right now, cleaning some Surf City Garage. Tire shine on my car right now. Look at this. I'm sorry, it has really gotten cloudy here, but at least we're, you know what? We're still got our fingers crossed, it's not raining, and it's a little bit cooler to actually do this. So it's a perfect day to do it. You can see the top of the car is perfect. There's no spots on it. There's a bug on the back somewhere. You can see it right there. It just falls off. But the car overall, spotless. We got it all taken care of again. I had to go over it two or three times and just really get in there and take out some dirt, but. The car is clean, so what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to go ahead and move on and we're going to go ahead and start claying the car. What I'll use today for the clay is I'm going to use Meguiar's clay and then I'll, I'll use actually um, Grio's Garage Detailer is actually the lubricant for it. You can see I already have it laid out there. And I'll actually hopefully have enough to get through, otherwise I'll just use some other detailer I have. But there you go, that's what I'll be using today for it. And uh, let me go ahead and start getting this done. Most of you guys already know how to... Um, Play. You don't need any self-explaining, you know, you just give it a nice little, ah, uh, we're running out here. Just lubricate the paint really good, and then all you have to do is, uh, usually I lubricate this as well. And then what you do is just go over it really gently. You don't have to do anything special with it, and just slowly work your way back and forth. And if there's anything in the paint, it's just going to pick it up for you really easily. And I'm just, look at this, it's just gliding across, okay? So I knew there, I didn't think there was much on here. I knew the car hadn't been washed, but I knew there wasn't much on here, so... It should be able to really take care of it pretty easy, and it shouldn't take me long to actually get this off. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and finish all this car, and then we'll go from there. All right, so there's a little bit. Can you see that, guys? I know it's a little bit cloudy, but there's little bits here and there. This isn't too bad, though, but we'll go ahead and finish the whole car, because I want to do this right. And then uh, we'll go ahead and start applying the wax, and that'll be the next scene is when I'll be cutting to the next applying of the wax. So stay tuned, guys. Clay bar in time. All right, guys, here we go. We've been done with the claying. It's actually the very next day. What happened is uh, we had some repaired stuff done in our house. And of course, the bad weather turned into really bad weather. It was lightning, it was cracking all around and stuff. So 
I didn't even try and finish the car, even though it is in the garage. I just followed that guy and uh, watched him. So you can see, as the, you can tell, the car has been cleaned. There's nothing on it, all right? So it's all been clayed as well. It's super smooth. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and move on and start waxing the car, okay? So that's all I did to it last night. All I did is pull it in the garage and then um, I parked it after I was done claying it. And you can see today, a lovely blue sky day. So finally, we're back to a normal day here. I'm actually probably gonna finish waxing this one and probably wash another one of my cars while I still have a chance, right? Maybe even make uh, future videos that I'll put out in another week or so. So we have finally have a good day. It'll be a perfect day for to show the results because I'll back it out and we'll see it. So let's go ahead and start uh, showing you what the wax is like and we'll work from there, okay? So let me try and even open this thing up, which is probably not gonna work one-handed. One second. All right, guys, I wanted to show you what's actually the Turtle Wax Ice Premium Wax looks like inside. This is everything that comes with it. You so you get a little bit of a sponge, uh, to app applicator pad to put it on with. And you can tell here's the product right here. Now the product has an amazingly sweet smell, guys. Let me tell you, the smell is, I don't know, it just hits you and you're like, oh man, it's a great smell, so I really already love it. I'm already ready to go ahead and apply it. So what I'll be doing is I'll really just straight up, um, normally I just go ahead and spin it like this straight through. It has a bunch of stuff on it. And then I'm just gonna work it straight in, okay? So you can see, can you even tell it's on there? I'm sure you really can't. So you as this is sort of like the Meguiar's Ultimate. It is, uh, since it goes on, it goes on basically clear. The only way to see it is to kind of, kind of get down at an angle. Let's say we're getting down here at it, okay? And I can see it, or I can see it with the reflection of the lights from the garage. I can see where I've applied it. Other than that, you cannot see where this stuff goes. So that's kind of a problem there, but you can in fact see it. Like I would say the same thing Turtle Wax right now. If I were you guys, I'd put some kind of tint on here. I don't care if it's a color and figure out some way to make it so you can see it better. And that's the only thing I would uh, recommend to you guys. But all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply it to the whole rest of the car. And then I'll show you maybe taking off some of it. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and roll the car outside and we'll show you the end results. I know the video has been a little long, but hopefully when it comes to waxes and stuff like this, I wanna make sure I'm thoroughly doing it properly and that way you can see some good results here. But all right, stay, up, stay tuned. Here we go. All right guys, welcome back. I figured we should do a mid car update right now. So far I have done uh, side fenders, I've done the bumper, I've done the hood, uh, I've done the mirrors, both sides, and then all the way through the roof. And I'm done back here on the back deck lid in the back wing over there. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, thoughts I can tell you right now, the way things are going is um, it goes on pretty good. It takes probably about five minutes or so to dry. You know, I have a big fan over here blowing on it, so it helps a little bit. But um, as you saw, it looks really nice. Getting off, though, can be a little bit of a problem. I mean, it's no like Turtle Wax hard shell trying to get it off. So I'd rate it about medium scale in order to get it off. What you do is just take a little bits at a time, like you're just doing little chunks at a time, and then go a little bit forward, and then a little bit forward. That way you're not taking a huge swath at a time, and it's really hard to get it off. Other than that, you know, there's no, I don't see any issues with it or so far. Hard to see, like I say, stated on a white car, this, this is very hard to see. Like I, I'm sitting down here the whole time, I'm like, can I get a good angle out of that kind of thing while I'm trying to do, do I do that part or not? That's about the only issue I have, okay? But you can see so far, it's already starting to really shine and pop, okay? So I hope you're seeing this right now. So it is doing a really nice job, and we are looking really good. But I figured I'd take a break for a few minutes and show you guys uh, how things are going right now. I can tell it's already starting to get a little cloudy out there. I've got to hurry up so I can get this out there in the sun before uh, it does start to rain, because I think we do have, uh, what is it, 60 or 70 percent chance of rain today. Again, like typical summer weather in Florida. So, all right guys, I figured I'd give you a little bit of an update, so stay tuned, next uh, will be the final results and I'll have it back out of the garage, okay? So, stay tuned. Yeah, look at that. All right, boys and girls, it's final results time of the Turtle Wax Ice Premium Care Paste Wax. I'm gonna slowly step back and give you an overall view. I just happened to catch a really sunny day today. I'm sure it's going to rain here in a little while, but oh my God, this car is shining. All right, let's see if I can give you some close-ups of it. All right, it is hot today. It's well in the 90s here in Florida. I'm burning up doing this in my garage, but hey, look at that. All the junk is gone. 
There's nothing left. All that crud that got on there over the months is gone. All right, let me get up close. Do you see the little bit of plants over here in the reflection? Yeah. I know this video has been a little long, but I really think it's worth it when I do wax videos because I need to show the actual results, like pure results, okay? So I'm taking my time. I'm just going over it really good. Look at this. The whole roof is spotless now. I mean, you got your little dings and stuff like that that happened way before I owned the car. This November will be just five years I've owned this car. And I've put a lot of money and work into it, getting it all to a normal running state. Look at that. You can even see the nice concrete. All right. Step back and give you a little bit of distance view. All right. So tell me, what do you guys think right now? What are you all thinking about it? I think it does a really good job. I'm not going to knock it. You know, people always hate on Turtle Wax and Armor All and some of the lower end brands, but I think this ice line of theirs does really good. I really think they stepped it up with their ice line, and I'm really impressed with it. It's a synthetic, so it's meant to stay on there and last for a long time. So, <laughs> stupid bugs. <laughs> I have no problems with this at all, guys. No problems. Now, how long it'll last, I honestly don't know, of course, because, you know, I just applied it. But synthetic waxes usually last about five months, five good months before it starts really fading. Um, it's about the average. Where Carnuba's base is about every three months before it really starts fading. Just because uh, it's just not going to last. But there you go. I really hope that helps you out here. I'm going to do a water test real quick. And we'll see the repellent. So stand by. And I'll do the water test or beating test, so there you go, one second. All right, guys, here we go. Here's a long-awaited water test see how it's beating. Ah, oh, dadgum, it's starting to get a little cloudy again. So here we go. I'm going to take my time and try to zoom in on that to show you a good view, okay? I don't want to soak the whole car because I don't want to have to dry it all the way off. What do you guys think so far? Hopefully it's showing up really nice and clear. I'll make my way to the front of the car. I'll take it from three different angles. See the clouds are coming in and out right now. It's getting ready to get darker. All right, so I hope you're seeing this good. Tell me you don't love that. Tell me you are not digging this right now. We have one last angle for you guys. Look at this. Doesn't even want to stay on the car. Look at that. one last spray for you all right guys so there you go final results from beginning to end from an absolutely filthy car that hadn't been washed and cleaned in a couple months absolutely cleaned we did full-on steps of turtle wax wash ice care wash then we used uh, the Maguire's clay bar on it then we came back and we hit it with the ice premium wax so I hope you guys really like that I took the time to do this I know it's a little bit longer video Please take time to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I really hope it helped you guys out. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you at the next video. Take care.